Hi. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, service now part. In reference to the service now, we are discussing about uh, the technology portfolio management. So wherein we need to understand the underlying technologies of uh, any of the business application which will be used by the business enterprises must be actively managed and as well as uh, monitored to track the kind of versions, whatever the kind of uh, life cycle they are using in regular intervals. By keeping this view into an account, understanding about technology portfolio management, which majorly tracks the kind of dates, whatever is required, followed by creating a demand or a project to upgrade or retire them, all that stuff. In reference to this uh, technology part, we're in uh, the major part of business application, which majorly focusing on the specific versions and as well as configuration of the software. Majorly by creating an uh, inventory for all the technologies which are used in uh, the enterprises nowadays will be useful and as well as helpful in uh, tracking the versions of the software and manufacturing support dates and software. At the same time, set an internal lifecycle guidance for the software itself. Assessing risk in using outdated software, followed by supporting upgraded versions, application supports, all that stuff. In connect to the business applications, when we talk about which organizations are linked in one or more application services, where all these application services run one or more technologies or software models, all that. Now, by considering that part into an account itself is concerned, where it will be completely depending on the kind of uh, SAM of the one which normally retrieve the technology information of the software product. So wherein uh, the one which I'm presenting you the screen or something relating to that sort. So this is where generally SAM will also be used for well, like software, uh, software product models, right? So software product models, software architect architecture models, all these things will be used. At the same time, software asset management and all everything will be used here. Where some kind of pre-configuration software product models, which may be will be available at all uh, TPM levels, whatever is required uh, uh, for us to use it. At the same time, we can also create a list of all software models where the organization uses either manually or import them from existing databases or the sources. Now, in connect to that, Next level of application when we see in connect to the software product life cycles to the business applications, if you can see here, where it is completely depending on the TPM, depending on the SAM plugins and as well as dependencies and all that. Where in here, we try to access the broader classification, which is requires software assessment management premium plugin, references to SAM piece and all that. Followed by this, this table majorly focusing on the software products configurations and models, which majorly focusing on the kind of view of the application by enabling the business applications as well as the product classification in the TPM timeline, all that. Without SAM uh, plugins, wherein product classification is not available without that, wherein we need to view by product classification, which is not available in the TPM timeline view as well. In addition to that, software models transformation is retrieved from SM, SW product models, where it has to be populated more of exporting the content from an Excel sheet and all that stuff. So this is all about service now in reference to the business uh, application development itself is concerned in connect to technology portfolio management is all about. For further queries, as well as if you have any information, if you have any requirements, all that, please reach out to the contact details which will be posted in below to this video. Thank you.